Good morning, dear students. Today is our time to start lesson three, unit eight. That would be, what are you doing next week? What are you doing next week? Let us go through it and see. What are you doing next week? We will talk about Tanya and David. Tanya and David are sister and brother. They are very busy children. Look at the family calendar. He means this. The timetable done by them and they are talking about their days and what to do there. Look at the family calendar. Ask and answer questions about what Tanya and David are doing each day of the week. What is Tanya doing on Monday? Let us see. Monday, Tanya, she's going for a swim. What is David doing on Monday? Sorry, what is David doing on Monday? Can you see Monday? I don't see D, which is David's starting, starting letter. So, he's not doing anything. What are Tanya and David doing on Friday? Friday, that's the one. I see T and D, Tanya and David. They are playing football. They are playing football. Let us have a little look. Is this calendar, is this timetable with days done for, by Tanya and David for the coming days ahead? For the coming days ahead. It's not done yet. So, they are talking about future. But, it's arrangements. It's a timetable they did and they have arranged many things to do. This is why they are talking in present continuous. This is one of the usages for the present continuous to talk about future arrangements. Note, barn, barn, this is one of the words. Barn is a large building going on a farm which animals are kept there. That's a barn. The farmer has three cows in the barn. See, on Tuesday, she, David is cleaning the barn. Okay. Tidy, that's a verb this time, not an adjective like before. It's many usages for the same word. Tidy, make a, pla a place neat, clean and organized. Every morning, mom tidies our bed. Tidies, verb plus s, in present simple. Remove the Y because there is a consonant before and put I E S. Tidies, tidied, tidied. Past, past participle. Going for. On Saturday, Tanya and David are going for a walk. Tanya and David are going for a walk. So, going for. After for, it should be a noun. He's going for a walk. Good. Next. We will talk as partners about our coming plans. Partner A, your Tanya or David, 
It's a boy or a girl. Partner B, you're a friend of Tanya or David. Phone your friend and invite her or him to play. You have to find a time when your friend is free. What should I say? I will ask about what to do. So, are you doing anything on? And I say the day. Would you like to do something on? So, that's the question. I remember something very important. I will talk about future plans and arrangements, things I arrange it to do. So definitely, I will use the present continuous form. Use verb to be plus ing to talk about plans. I am going on holiday tomorrow, future, but it's already arranged, it's scheduled. So, present continuous for future arrangements. And this is the form of present continuous, and that's what we're after. When we want to talk about future arrangements, that's what we should do. Use one of the forms of verb to be in present. It depends on the subject, of course. Then the verb, and that we add ing to it. I'm playing football next Friday in the, in the club. That's am. Verb to be in present with I. What about negative? I'm not playing football next Friday in the club. She's learning English next year. She has planned and arranged things for her plan to do a course. She's learning English next year. She isn't learning English next year. Affirmative. Negative. They are doing their homework in the two hour in two hours. In two hours ahead in time, they will do they will start acting and do their homework. So they have arranged a little schedule, a little timetable for what to do during the day. And in two hours' time, this is the time for doing homework. Negative. They are not doing their homework in two hours. Last part, what next part is talking and writing. Make a calendar for one week. How to make a calendar for one week as Tanya and David did. Timetable, days of the week, and then what to do. Make a calendar for one week, write activities on the three days, leave other days free. So, we will write activities on three days only. Here are some ideas what to do as these activities. Going for a bike ride. Can you see four? Going for a bike ride. Shopping with mom. Going to grandpa's house. These are ideas for activities to do. Don't show your calendar to your partner. Ask each other. I need to ask about what to do next. So, what are you doing on Monday? I can replace Monday with any other day. Are you doing anything on Tuesday, Monday, any other day of the week? Find a day when you are both free, plan the activity together. This is a nice activity in the class as we talk to each other, asking questions, what are you doing on? What are you doing anything on? An information question, WH word, and that's uh, uh, not a yes or no question. It's another way to ask the same question. So you can ask and answer, a new friend can answer, and that can be a little conversation. Notes. Calendar, that's a timetable showing days. Free, antonym, busy. They are adjectives. Anything. I use anything for negative and questions. But if I want to use an affirmative, it will be something else. I cannot find anything here, anything negative. 
Are you doing anything on Monday? Anything? Question. So I use them in negative and question. What about affirmative? Everything. I see everything from the high tower. This is the affirmative. Anything. Negative and question. Everything. Affirmative. Now, another activity. We will listen to Sylvia's, Kai's, and Alex's activities, and then we will connect this to what they do. So, we will listen to these phrases, and we will get by the pictures who's doing what. Playing football is exciting and fun. Who do you think said that? Kai, good job. Doing karate is difficult. You will find it difficult too. Who do you think said that? Salvia. Walking makes your heart beat more quickly. Who do you think said that? Yes, Alex. I love going for walks. It's the best exercise. Alex's. People do karate in many different countries. Should be Sylvia. Lots of people play football. It's good for your lungs and heart. I'm sorry, and muscles, and your muscles. That would be... Good job, Kai. Remember something very important. An opinion is what one person think. An opinion is what one person think. A fact is a piece of information that no one can disagree with. We have a big stop here. What do you mean, sir? Maybe I like football. And maybe my friend doesn't like it. If we talk about it, what would I say? It is interesting, of course. Is it interesting for my friend? No. What we agree or disagree on, this is an opinion. What we agree or disagree on, this is an opinion. All the boys will say, playing football is interesting. Okay. What about the girls? Are they all into football? Nope. So, somebody one day might disagree. As long as there is someone who can disagree, that's an opinion. I'll tell you a little secret. We use adjectives frequently when we talk about opinions. If I say something is interesting, maybe it's, it doesn't interest someone else, so he will say it's boring. If I say something is nice, maybe someone will disagree and will say, no, it's not nice, it's bad. Adjectives can help to make opinions and can be easy way to identify if it's an opinion or not. Fact, that's a piece of information. No one can disagree because it's known for everyone. Let us read again and see that. Playing football is exciting and fun. Of course, the one who's talking really loves football. What if the one who's talking doesn't agree or doesn't like football? Are they still going to say exciting? Are they still going to say fun? I don't think so. So, tell me now, is that an opinion or a fact? Huh, exactly. That's an opinion. And I can see two adjectives. Let us see number two. Walking makes your heart 
beat more quickly. Every time you do an activity, your heart is beating more quickly. What do you think? Is that an opinion or a piece of information? Yes, that's a piece of information. No one can say, no, my heart doesn't beat much when I woke. No, no one can say that. That's a piece of information no one can disagree with. Let us see number three together. People do karate in many different countries. People do karate in many different countries. What do you think? Is this an opinion or a fact? Is this something I can disagree with or a piece of information? Who can tell? I would say people do karate in many different countries. That's a piece of information no one can disagree with. It's a fact, exactly. Number four, doing karate is difficult. You will find it difficult too. Okay. Maybe Salvia can say that, but what if you really love karate? What if you are very good at it? What if you won many games, many matches playing karate? Will you still say doing karate is difficult? No, you would disagree. You will disagree. So what is that? An opinion or a fact? Exactly. An opinion. I love going for walks. It's the best exercise. What if somebody doesn't like going for walks? What if somebody who's really into playing games or mobile phone games, does he still want to do this? Okay, can someone disagree? Okay, what is this? Fact or opinion? Exactly, I love going for walks. I hate going for walks. So that's an opinion, good job. Lots of people play football. It's good for your lungs and your muscles. Lots of people play football and playing football or any exercise is good for your lungs and muscles. Can you disagree? No. So, this is a piece of information. This is a fact. Good job. So, do we know now what is the difference between the fact and the opinion? Perfect. The opinion what you think or believe about something. Football is fun. I love going for walks. Maybe someone else doesn't like it, so wouldn't agree. Fact is what everyone agrees on. What everyone agrees, thinks, or believes about something. Everyone. Lots of people play football. Yes, of course. Can anyone say no? There are not many people playing football. No. Walking makes your heart beat more quickly. Can anyone say no? No. They are both a piece of information. Good job. A little note we had. Love, like, start, finish, practice, enjoy. All these verbs love to take a gerund after. Love walking, like swimming, start riding, finish talking, practice playing, enjoy eating, whatever. So, we have some exercise for now because we're done for our lesson. So, we're done with our lesson, sorry. All our friends, space, we already reserved the table. Who's space salad for the barbecue? 
we will put the verbs in the correct form. I space Joe next Sunday. Where space you space for your vacation? What space we space for dinner? Listen, now we have all these sentences or questions to put the verbs in the correct future form. But it's all arranged. So we will use exactly the present continuous form for future arrangements. All our friends space. Huh? What is the subject? Is it singular or plural or I? Plural. So, are coming. Good job. Next. Who space salad for the barbecue? Who space salad for the barbecue? Who is bringing? Next one. I am Joe next Sunday. I am visiting Joe next Sunday. Where space you space for your vacation? Where I need here, I need a verb first. So where are you going? Good job. What space we space for dinner? What are we eating for dinner? Good job. For now, we have another exercise, a quick one. Find the mistake and correct. In my fact, I think volleyball is more exciting than football. There is a mistake and we need to correct that. Alice usually goes for walks after she studies. The next exercise is do as shown. That would be I play football because it's interesting. Express your opinion. I study hard because I like it. Begin with like. So we will start the first sentence. In my fact, I think volleyball is more exciting than football. We're talking about a, a sport you might disagree. So, I think it's opinion, not a fact. In my opinion, I think volleyball is more exciting than football. Alice usually goes for a walk. Express your opinion, so I'll start with the gerund. Playing football is interesting. The last one, I will start with I like. Like will take gerund. I like studying hard. That was all. Hope you enjoyed the lesson and hope the best for you. Thank you all.